In the days before scuba, if you wanted to descend into the deep, suits like these were your only option. But according to this myth, they came with a deadly drawback. So to put the squeeze on this deep sea saga... All right, let's get some meat on these bones. Tori, Grant, and Jesse are turning up the pressure. All right, camera mounts, check. Diving helmet mounts, check. 300 foot umbilical, check. Dive suit, check. Helmet, check. And finally, Meat Man is done. Now it's time to take all these things out to the ocean, take them down 300 feet, and find out whether or not Meat Man will get the squeeze. So to do that, it's off to Santa Cruz Harbor, where the experts from North Coast Divers will take them out to sea. So are we good to go? We are, conditions are perfect. But before they test the waters, the Wizard of Odd has to give Meat Man a heart. Now since the chest is the only thing that is compressible on a human being, especially in this experiment, it's important that we have something inside the chest cavity. Right now, it's hollow. So what we need to do is fill them up with some kind of uh, organs, guts, blood, so that way if we do get that squeeze, we'll be able to see it come shooting into the helmet. So I have some hearts, I got some livers, I have some fake blood, I'm gonna fill up this chest, sew them back up, and then we can get them into the suit. <laughs> I have no idea what that is, but it's going in. Meat Man really puts the meat in team. <laughs> Finally, it's out to the open ocean with Meat Man safe inside his suit, at least for now. If you see any sharks, play dead. And once they're in deep enough water... Hey, Jim, how are we doing? Are we almost there? We're in 300 feet of water right now. We've got lots of deep water behind us. When we drift that way, uh, we're ready to go. Preparation for launch begins. Yeah, beauty. Now, it's not as simple as just hanging Meat Man over the side of the boat and letting him drop to 300 feet. As he makes his descent, the pressure pushing in on the suit goes up by 0.445 PSI every foot. So in order to compensate for that, I'm going to have to add air in through this hose and push back out. Now, I've calibrated this gauge to the approximate PSI that I need versus the depth. OK, so we're not relying completely on Grant's math. We have a live video feed from an ROV that's going to be traveling around the cage, and we also have a live link from a camera that's already mounted on the cage as well. So if the suit inflates too much or too little, we should be able to see everything very easily from sitting right here. OK, watch those cables over there. Hold it. Drop it. All right, okay. let's drop okay. it. And Meat Man is in the water. Bye-bye, Meat Man. Say hello to Davy Jones. Now, let's go maybe 30 feet at a time just to see what happens. With cameras rolling, the diver is painstakingly lowered into the drink to uh, meet his deep sea fate. What's your depth, Jesse? 31 feet. Copy that. But as they monitor his slow descent, the team is skeptical of a full body squeeze. I honestly think that there's going to be some juices flowing, but I don't think it's going to suck the skin off his bones. I don't think the whole body's going to come up. I mean, there's a lot of meat down there. I don't think all of that's going to come in the helmet. My calculations are correct. We're almost a third of the way down. Looks like we are right on 200 feet. Two thirds of the way down, and everything is going according to plan. How's he holding up? Yes, looks good so far. 235 feet, and it's getting really dark. Thank God we got all those lights all over the place. Okay, that's 300 feet. Okay, stop the cage. At that depth, there's 135 pounds of water pressure pressing on every square inch of the diving suit. The only thing keeping the water at bay is the compressed air. So will cutting the air supply lead to a spectacular squeeze? There's only one way to find out. All right, you guys, how the suit holding? It's looking great, and we are at 300 feet. Yes. All right, let's do it. Ready? You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Crazy! 
Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. It worked! Yeah. It worked. Yeah. Oh, my gosh! Yep, the effect of the cut hose was less than instantaneous. But once the air pressure was exhausted, physics took over. And the drastic pressure differential pushed Meat Man into his helmet, exactly as the myth predicted. I don't even think we need to bring him up. No! no. <laughs> Just leave him down there! Wow! Look at that! that was Look at happen. those high glasses! Look That's that. amazing. You can't even see in the helmet anymore because no. it's covered with yeah. flesh and blood. Who's going to clean the suit? Not it. <laughs> and a closer inspection of our diver reveals the kind of damage 135 pounds of pressure per square inch can do. Oh, oh wow! Oh, oh my God! We came the helmet Stop. in! We oh. totally came the helmet in! Look at all the guts in there! <laughs> his stomach is inside oh. his helmet! Just by the side of the helmet, look at that! Dude. Could you imagine that pressure? That is absolutely confirmed. Oh. No doubt about it. Totally confirmed. <laughs> okay, so I definitely expected the juices to be flowing, but I didn't expect to see them like slowly rise up through the helmet. And then blah, where everything, everything just, it was like an explosion inside the suit. Completely unexpected, but totally awesome. Now the name of this game is differential pressure. They can withstand a huge amount of pressure when they're equalized. But the second you take away all the pressure on the inside, crush. You can see, this is what's left. I saw it with my own eyes. I still can't believe this actually happened. This one is completely confirmed. I'm sorry, Meat Man, but it was totally worth it.